Great, so Bob, tell me a little bit more about the other major themes for SQL Server 2018. Yeah, thanks, Wendy. Other than Big Data Cluster's massive announcement for us, yep. I kind of think of three things that kind of stand out for me about the release. One is intelligent query processing, okay. which is kind of the new enhancement from adaptive query processing. Cool. Built-in capabilities to the query processing engine to adapt to your needs for performance. The second would be Java. Yes, wow. SQL Server with Java. Now, we had R and Python before. Right. Now we've extended the T-SQL language so you can run Java programs in with the SQL Server engine. Amazing. Pretty cool. The third one would be a Kubernetes. Um, we believe in that technology going forward, and in fact, the big data clusters are powered by Kubernetes. But now you can run availability groups on Kubernetes for a high availability solution. Uh, running Linux containers. That's actually pretty cool. So those are kind of the three things that stand out for me. Excellent. And by the way, congratulations. I also hear now you've just come out with your new first book. I have, Wendy. Thanks for mentioning that. Uh, I have a book now called Pro SQL Server on Linux from A-Press Media. It's funny, it's ironic. This is my 25th anniversary with SQL Server working for the company, yes. And this is the 25th anniversary of SQL Server on Windows. Wow. So I chose to write a book on Linux. And uh, this book is all about people that don't know Linux but want to learn SQL Server. And people that know SQL Server that want to learn SQL on Linux. Excellent. But also, Wendy, I've actually sprinkled in like 25 years of career experiences with this product. People I've worked with and all different history of the product is actually baked in the book as well. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's available for pre-order now, and it should be out by November. Excellent. Yeah. Congratulations. Well, thanks, Wendy. Appreciate it. Thank you.